Um, okay, so page 213, um, building bylaw update. So, Peter, I wonder if you could share with the committee your comments about the experience with the energy retrofit program. Certainly, Madam Chair. Um, in this report, it's, it's been proposed that it be deleted from the building bylaw, and the reasons being is that when the program initially uh, was launched, it was based on a funding model that um, would be cost neutral to the building department budget. And uh, there, were, there was a cash contribution made by BC Hydro to assist, and there was an equivalent amount of uh, uh, money uh, offered by the building department and other staff in kind to match that. We are coming to a point where we're very near the end of um, our ability to fund the program through the applications that we have received to date. And um, when it was initially launched, uh, it was seen that the energy rebate program here was to be combined with many other incentive programs that BC Hydro and Fortis and the federal government uh, energy folks were willing to, uh, to deliver to people building or renovating um, their homes. And um, their programs, uh, program funding had evaporated as well in, in many fronts. Uh, there, there's always new ones coming along. But this particular program, uh, the funding is now at its end. And uh, if we continue to fund it, it would be, um, it would have to come out of permanent revenues of the building department, which these days is not practically possible. So that's a brief history on why we're not extending that program. It's not to say it shouldn't, it wouldn't come back another day, but uh, that's it for now. I think you, you also talked to me yesterday about the amount of um, value at relative to the costs involved. Could you speak to that? Yes, Madam Chair. We, um, to add to the, the discussion, we, we did have an interview conducted by BC Hydro through a, an agency. Uh, it was about a 45-minute interview discussing the, uh, the, what was learned from the energy rebate program and uh, how we might look at things differently next time. And the feedback that we got uh, uh, from the counter and the applications is that uh, a much higher rebate would be a much favorite, would, would generate much more uptake um, on permits uh, involving energy saving features. Some of the energy saving um, features that were sponsored under this program are now part of the BC Building Code as, as a mandatory requirement. But for those that weren't, uh, those people who are building their homes um, didn't see it as a huge incentive. And when they were spending a half million dollars, they thought, well, this is too complicated to track for the $150 I'm going to get. And they just forego the, uh, the process. Uh, they didn't see it as enough of a, an incentive, even if it was coupled with other incentives that were offered. So one of the things we went back to BC Hydro uh, uh, to uh, as as feedback was uh, if we do this next time perhaps we can we can make the the incentive more attractive and perhaps make it apply to uh, uh, a little more variety of of initiatives rather than just energy saving windows or insulation upgrades or or uh, or this type of thing um, perhaps we can expand it into other areas like lighting or um, solar energy retrofit this type of thing. Um, some of which was part of the original, but not necessarily all of it. So uh, that discussion was good. I think they'll take those notes back. They are canvassing all those individuals who took part in, or local governments who took part in the energy rebate program, and, and they'll probably use it to, uh, to launch uh, yet another program in the future, or not, if they found it unsuccessful. Thank you. Any comments? Director Turnbull? I like what you did about putting the arrows, showing where you had the changes. That makes it much easier. Yeah, Thank you very much. Okay, so there are some recommendations on page 213. Would somebody be prepared to make that motion? Director Turnbull, seconded by Director Lewis. Anything else? <clears throat> Director Murrow? Um, just going through, I guess my, my copy of the highlighting wasn't uh, quite as clear. Um, 
and it, I refer to page 231, um, number 8.2, which is changed, and I can't tell what was changed other than there's a small line by 7.2, so I'm not clear in what that is, and, and I'm, I'm, I don't understand. I'm assuming that the reduction is basically because we don't have to do the assessments because they're registered professionals. Is that what that means? Because I can't tell what the change was. Uh, yes, Director Morrow, the, the change was in the original read 7.1, and this is 7.2, um, and that's just a, a numbering correction. Okay. That's all it is. Director Seekers? Sorry, I'm just finding where it is in here. Um, with regards to permits for temporary buildings. What page are you on? There's a few pages, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, page 234. Yeah, page 234, 9.10, page 236, 12.1.1, uh, 1 1, and page 237, 12.4. I just think it needs some clear, some cleaning up with regards to the, the numbers that are in here. So if, for example, if a permit can be for 12 months, and you can renew it four times, that wouldn't be a maximum of five years. Would it be five years? You can renew it four times. Okay, renew it four times, okay. Yep. So, okay, so that, okay, it makes sense then. I was thinking the first time would be the 12 months and then all total would be four mm -hmm. years. No, five. But you can renew it up to five years for a temporary permit, temporary per okay. Okay. Okay, all in Your favor? Words, thanks. 